What's up guys, it's Charles here to do a review. Before you guys go crazy and say, oh, I jumped a shark or whatever, I do review action figures. I just never did it for this channel, I don't think. At least, uh, not that I'm aware of. Maybe I did, maybe I didn't, I don't know. But I think this guy gets an exception. Well, number one, because I loved Inspector Gadget as a kid. It's a very nostalgic thing for me. And he is technically a cyborg, so he's got some mech components, whether or not you agree with that. But whatever, I'm doing this review. Otherwise, check out my other robot ones. But I uh, mostly got this from my daughter, since I realized at night she watches a lot of Inspector Gadget. So figured I'd do a review on it before she uh, maybe just ignores it in her pile of toys or ruins it. I don't know, whatever. Now nah, she's usually good with taking care of stuff. But anyway, here's the back. Got a bunch of stuff here, all the accessories. This is not the deluxe version. I had the deluxe version ordered, which requires you to buy all of them for like $190. And then I realized they're not posable or whatever. Uh, and I just didn't want to spend it. I'd rather uh, save some of that for, you know, other stuff that uh, most closely fits what I do here. We're going to get in here. Enough of the blabbing. Um, so it comes in a nice box. And this is from Blitzway. I have their uh, their uh, Scarface figure, which was my first Blitzway toy, which I thought was awesome. It looks like they're just doing a lot more stuff than just one six scale figures. And I think this line is the uh, 5 Pro Studio, or that they work with, with Blitzway to make this, something like that. But anyway, you get a nice clamshell tray with some instructions. little stand here, which is a uh, little brick with some cement on the sides. The arm, black and white instructions. Uh, all his gadgetry. Okay. And expect the gadget himself with all the roller skates and things like that. So let's go ahead and get this bad boy open up. All right, so here he is out of the box. We got all the accessories that's included. Obviously, you got Inspector Gadget himself, the little stand there, little arm for the stand. I believe these uh, clip together to form something. Uh, not sure yet. Uh, we got the little arms here that are actually um, movable, right? Which is kind of cool. All the extended arms and leg pieces. We do have this right here, which actually does compress which I was very surprised about. Uh, we got the handles, which are metal. We also got the uh, umbrella handle, which is also metal. The umbrella itself and the propellers. We also get a spare face here with uh, replaceable eyes. We also get uh, his hat pieces for the top. Flashlight, working magnifying glass. Let me show you guys that, which is kind of cool. We got a badge, little wallet with a badge. Working roller skates, okay. We also get these alternate hands for holding the handles. We got his telephone hand, so he can make calls, his tool hand, and then a regular pointing hand. Now, for the sake of the review, I will leave the standard head on, but I will show you this here. This is the regular or the alternate head, and you can change the eyeballs, like I said. Not much of a difference. One looks left, one looks right. Uh, just be careful the first time, because it's kind of wedged in there. So you don't scratch up the face, but uh, you can change his face. All right. But like I said, for the sake of review, we'll continue with that one. So we're going to show you uh, the flashlight and the magnifying glass just to see what it looks like. Pop off the hands. They're not ball jointed. They are just uh, friction fit. So it should be easy to take off and pop back on. But there is a ball joint at the end of the tab. So don't worry about the uh, articulation, which we'll check out in just a moment. Once you get that situated, you can pop the... Uh, I should just put the flashlight on this side. Or... How normally people use flashlights, or maybe not normally, but a lot of people hold them that way. Put the magnifying glass in here, and you can hold this up to his eye, sort of. Let me see if I can get him to look through it. It even causes that big eye look when you look through magnifying glasses, which is pretty cool. Next, we're going to go-go gadget copter. So we're going to remove the top of this here and add the other piece. Now what you want to do is attach the bars to his hands. We're going to use the same ones we did for the flashlight and magnifying glass. Put together the propeller, which is just attaching the three propellers to the centerpiece and also grabbing this uh, hat piece here and just popping it on the top. It's a friction fit and then just fit the bars on the side. They don't exactly pop in or stay in very well, so you got to kind of mess around with his hands to get it to look right, which is why there's a gap there, but you can always do that. All right, so this is the, the best I could do. It's obviously not meant to be uh, handled in this position. It's obviously a display piece, uh, but I wish they would have made the wire longer 
or there was a way to slide it down if it was all one piece but you know it looks good regardless uh, on display just something to note I noticed when putting this one back in the other one fit really tight so kind of stretched that part out so this is kind of loose I don't think it's enough to fall out but it is like relatively loose so just be careful with that if you're holding them upside down here he is with his gadget umbrella and also his little badge and he does have his uh, gadget roller skates so they go this way All right, and like I said, they actually roll. It's kind of a neat feature, even though this is not meant to really play with, but kind of cool that they did make roller skates that work. And he's also got the spring loaded legs. I have them here installed. They don't really push in too far at all, I guess, because there's no space in here, which is a lost opportunity there. I don't know if they really meant that. It does shoot, actually, you saw that. Just by pushing them in, they shoot out. And here I've got him using his little hand phone. And he's also got installed his little tool hand with the extended arms, which do uh, bend a little, by the way. There's probably a little wire in there. All right, just to show you guys a couple more things that are included. We, ha we got the hands I showed you. We got the neck extension. And then we also have these arms here. You can pretty much set them up any way you want. Uh, they are movable, as you can see. Um, the neck, I, I wouldn't say it's flimsy. I mean, it's, it's holding... Uh, this stuff up so you just got to be careful balancing the figure but uh, yeah that's pretty much it. it's got a couple different extensions for the arms like shorter extensions but you get the idea of how this goes now let's touch a little on the figures uh, articulation we have the neck joint the top and the bottom okay so it does give a fair range of movement you also have the arms the standard articulation also tabbed the elbows the wrists uh, the waist, it does have a, oh, actually, I thought the waist was underneath the jacket, but apparently the jacket also moves with the buckle there. Uh, as far as articulation on the legs, it's there. It's just this vinyl thing. If it's warm out, this will be a little more flexible. It's kind of chilly in here, but you get the flex there, and you can bend the knees. Uh, you get the rotation on the top there, and you also get feet that fall off, and then the other one actually articulates also. If you're a fan of Inspector Gadget, this is probably a must-have if you're a big fan. I wouldn't call myself a huge fan, but it is a nostalgic value kind of thing. Uh, the figure smells of vinyl, so make sure you love the smell of vinyl, which is, I think it's a pretty good smell. But also keep in mind that this is a $90 figure. It's a 6-inch approximately figure. It's pure vinyl, some metal components, but nothing to make the price jack up that high but I'm, I'm sure it's all in the licensing and the low run of this I'm sure it's not a you know huge amount of these around but yeah it's it's a hit and if you want to buy all of them it's actually cheaper to buy all of them together they're about 180 bucks otherwise this is like 90 then the penny set is also like a, another 90 and you know just for me it wasn't worth it um, just getting this guy was enough as I don't like to clutter myself with action figures. But, but you can get this using the link in the description below. It always helps the channel out. Again, thank you to all my Patreon supporters. And if uh, you have any questions or comments regarding this figure, please make sure you leave it below. And make sure to uh, share and subscribe. Since 90% of you guys are watching are not subscribed. But if you like my videos, there's a ton of them. Please uh, help out, okay? And uh, that's it. Until next time, guys. Bye-bye.